Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60 and this doorstop that is from a tutorial by, let's have his channel up here, uh, Kevin on product design online, he has some really good beginner exercises, they are updated to the latest user interface, but sometimes Fusion throws us a curveball. Uh, this is the doorstep as it is day 8 of Learn Fusion for 16 30 days, uh, the doorstop tutorial. Gonna have a look at here, and specifically this is the emboss feature that has been updated, it added a feature. We can now do emboss on multiple curved surfaces, like this here is a multiple curved surface, and the corner up here is multiple curves. This is single curve, there's like a cylinder, this is a flat face, so that works. So if we do emboss, follow the tutorial, and let's open up the sketch and hide. So what we are trying to emboss is a simple circle and a rectangle. We want to emboss that on the top face of this. But if we have a look at the result, that is not a circle. And if we have a look from the front, we have this like strange curvature in the emboss. Something is behaving strangely here. And I like to say I want to play around a bit more with emboss and see how it works now. So the thing that's changed now is that emboss feature can now be applied to multiple curved surfaces. Previously only available to single curved surfaces, but now it also works on other surfaces. So let's have a look if I open up the video again. Here is when uh, Kevin is doing a selection. He's selecting the faces. You can see he's clicked on the top face here. And Fusion had added few tangent change. Uh, tangent chain is the name, yes. Um, uh, faces that are connected to this, but you can see it's not selecting the faces that are curved in multiple direction. It's only selecting the single curved faces. So let's go back, have a look on my emboss feature. You can see here, when I've done the face selection, it has selected all the faces, including these curved surfaces here, all the way down to the bottom down here, including this here. And these, what Enfusion tries to do now, it tries to emboss this sketch on all of these faces. So it tries to adapt the sketch and does some strange stretching things and stuff. So step one, how do I avoid selecting faces like this? Turn off tangent chain and unselect faces. Uh, if you don't do this from the beginning, you might not need to do what I do next. But I now don't do select, uh, select faces. Tangent chain is off. So I'm going to select one face here. And then I want to select this face here. You can see it highlights some other face, but for some reason it doesn't like this face. It can be that the curvature is larger or something. But this is a general thing in Fusion. If you want to select something else, hold down in, on Windows. It's Control. I think it's Command on Mac. So I hold down control and you see when I hold down control, the thing that's happening is that the emboss body disappears. It basically turns off the calculation, but not moving the mouse cursor, you see I don't get any highlight. But if I hold down control and slightly move the mouse, Fusion starts the calculation what faces I want to select. You can see I can move around the highlight. So I'll select this face and this face. So only the faces that the emboss will be applied to. And I hit OK. And we can now have a look at our little feature here. And it looks much, much better. Now it looks linear in all the ways I want it to be. And basically we get what we want. But I notice that sometimes, if not always, uh, I now get a problem with the latest step in the video. There's applied a fillet to this edge that runs all the way around. And this feature here should be, we can do an inspection to check. This is two millimeters. This line here is also two millimeters. We should be able to apply a one millimeter fillet around everything. So hit F on the keyboard, select the edges. I think they are, we allow Kevin is also selecting these faces here and I'll apply a one millimeter fillet and we get an error. And we can say it highlights this edge here in red. Uh, doing measurements, we can, I think we could do inspection between these two edges too. So it says it's two millimeter. Uh, nothing really strange section all the edges they are all the same legs but this might be some type of uh, floating point problem that's all software have when you get down to very small numbers and stuff oh, sorry I'm trying to select edges one again so as I said one doesn't work so what I sometimes try to do is like lower the number slightly so 0 0.9 that's working, doesn't give me the totally correct uh, shape. 
So if I add more nines, it's still working, still working. And you normally get to a point where you get too close to numbers, basically. So we can have like four number position of this 0 0.999. That's basically one millimeter. And I can hit OK. This is a tip if you have problem with fillets that you have done like this curved surface or something like that and it doesn't work. So the boss feature needs some more playing around with before we really know how it's behaving now when the where we're adding the possibility to use emboss on multi curved surfaces. So I hope you found something useful this. And with that said, take care, see you around and goodbye.